Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? It's Osiris from the Fat Man's Podcast. I got another reaction for y'all. Before we get into this reaction, y'all, please hit this like button and subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 600 subscribers by the end of this month, so please do. Share with your family, friends, whoever you see. Shit, was click. Put it on social media. Clip it up. I don't care. Just tell them to subscribe to the Fat Man's Podcast. So, I got another Crowder, Stephen Crowder uh, reaction uh, from Crowder Bits. And the reaction name is Feminist, 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 is Breeding Whores, Change My Mind, Steven Crowder. Sorry, y'all, it's only a nine-minute video. I said she might as well. It was getting in here, y'all. Okay, well, I guess we just, let's people? just switch topics. What about slut shaming? Um, what about, um promiscuity and how women are um, demonized for having sexuality because we live in a very um, sex negative society in general but I'm sorry whole... I thought you just said women were uh, objectified and seen as sex objects too often but now you're saying we're demonizing women no. if we see them sexually no you know what I mean I really don't um I think Whenever, like for example, if you were to have X amount of partners sexually, like if I were to have, if I slept with 12 people and one of my male cousins slept with 12 people, who would be called a slut? I would call you both. Maybe you would. I'm saying society in general um, slut shames women a lot more. And I will admit it's women who slut shame women a lot. Yeah. Um, women are actually, as a matter of fact, this is kind of interesting where you talked about the yeah. objectification of women. Did you, did you actually know that women, when they've conducted these studies, and they have these sources for you, uh, they did uh, a more recent one, very specific with online dating. But in mm -hmm. general, women grade men far more harshly on physical traits than men grade women. Men grade women on a bell curve but and actually are far more for forgiving. Example, women are far harsher in their expectations of men I, physically. That's false. That is on its face absolutely unequivocally a lie. Incorrect. Women are judged based on their looks way more. I mean, douchey young guys see women walk by and be like, oh, she's a nine. Oh, she's a seven. Oh, that person's out of my league. First of all, no human being is superior to any other human being. I mean, I really, certain res facets, sure. I really resent the notion that like, oh, that person is out of my league. I can't pursue them. Um, but women are going back to the 10 scale. Women are um, judged on the one to 10 scale a lot more than men are. I don't walk by and go through well, and go, that's, that's anecdotal. Oh, I'm talking oh about... that's that guy is a seven. Oh, I should, he's not out of my league. Let me go talk mm -hmm. to him. That's not how women approach so men. Would you... Women are judged based on their looks a lot more. Women are called ugly. Women are called, okay, can I give you an example, specifically what I'm talking about? This is from the 90s. This is from the OJ trial. Every day, the press would um, criticize Marsha Clark's, she has no fashion, she has ugly hair, she looks frazzled with her horrible curly hair. And they never go, oh, OJ, what an ugly tie he was wearing. Oh, Johnny Cochran. Oh, uh, you know, he got his suit at Goodwill. Like, no one would say that. Actually, I think of everyone involved with the OJ trial, the one most remembered for crazy suits was Johnny Cochran. He's the one who was no, trying to No, but he was not, he was not. Oh yeah, before she go back in it. Um, I saw that I actually saw that uh um data and it's true. I don't know where she's I mean, she needs to he has he, he just said he had the facts up in the book. Um, ma'am, you're wrong. Um first of all, you shouldn't deny anything if you haven't researched your yourself. Um uh, okay. First of all, why don't you just Take why well, do people never got like never go in like conversation in good faith? You know what I mean? I don't understand that. Um, and first of all, men are visual. You know what I mean? I, I like to see a, I like to see a beautiful woman walking down the street. I like to see a beautiful woman next to me. You know what I mean? I, come on now, like most men want beautiful women. You know what I mean? And if we grade them, we grade them. And you, okay.
And the only reason why people, the only reason why women know now, because of social media. Men, dudes used to go in the locker room or something else or talk or go with the boys and talk about it. You know, the girls wouldn't really be around. The only reason why is because of social media. And now they, you know, men say it online now. But, um, I mean, come on now. I mean, you can't really get mad at it, you know what I mean? We're visual creatures. Men are visual creatures, and you know what I mean? That's okay, I guess. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it, but a lot of women do. Um, the body thing, the body, the body, the body thing, like having 12 bodies or something like that, low-key. You already know what Justin Lee Peterson say. He a slut maker. But, you know, hey, I don't know. I wouldn't call them whores, though. I wouldn't call them that. Not the woman, though. I, I mean, I probably would. I mean, she got more. I don't know. She got more like 20 bodies. She for the streets, my guy. She for the streets. You know what I mean? But, hey, yeah, let's get back up to it. It's not criticized every single day and attacked for her looks the way Marsha Clark was attacked. People were calling her unattractive. People were saying she had no sense of style, like I said about her hair. They were not getting that. People would be like, oh, wow, that suit is kind of out there. And so this is an example of male privilege to you? Yes, because they wouldn't be like, oh, he's ugly, he's unappealing because of his looks. And also, can I uh, make I just, another? I'm sorry, I, I, wanna, I don't want to get into I wanna, No, no, make, no I want to move on because I've been called ugly an, so many times and rightfully it's so. It's not. It's, rightfully so. So they, it's the idea, the anecdotal is what we want to deal with here. People didn't teach you that your looks, first of all, you're not ugly by any means. Second of Neither all. Neither are you. <laughs> thank you. And by the way, um, my wife there is out of my league, and so would you be if I were a single male. I have no problem saying No, that. she's not, because no human being is better than anybody else. They are Her in self, certain facets. I'm sure she's she far is more physically attractive I'm than sure I am. I'm sure she is beautiful, but she's not better than you because she's beautiful. She's more beautiful than I am. But she does I don't know if that's true, but more she, people want to have sex with her than me. <laughs> Can I bring up another point? It's a little bit unrelated, but it's it's related to Marsha Clark from the OJ trial. I, people okay. call powerful women bitches. They're like, oh, she's bossy. Oh, she's a bitch whenever she has strong views. But if a man were to conduct himself in the same way and give off the same demeanor, they'd be like, oh, wow, what a strong, powerful man. He's really getting it done. He's really sticking it to them. Yeah, but I don't women, agree. But women are taught, oh, she's bossy. She's a bitch. She needs to stay in her place. She needs to. Or, for example, um, when women have a serious face, oh, we should smile more, honey. Yes, smile I think more, women should darling. smile more. I mean, I think everyone should can smile I, can more. I, can I ex yes, can I express but, it? Can I? Because we've gotten completely off the statistical, okay. so let me. This is just ends up being personal, so let's have a personal okay. conversation here. Maybe you, because I just had this discussion not that long ago with a female relative. Okay, a man is physically attracted to warmth and tenderness in a woman, right? That is an attractive yeah. trait because we like nice women. You just talked about bitch, bitchy, right? So the That's idea- That's what they call women when they're powerful. No, know? it's what they call women when they're acting like bitches, but yes. Uh, no. Men Marcia get called Clark assholes. Not a bitch. But hold on, I'm she not talking about- a very compassionate let me, let me, woman. People are calling her a bitch all the time because she was a powerful woman. People call Hillary Clinton- I would like to be able to finish okay, my I'm point sorry, without I'm sorry. being- I don't want to be accused of male privilege, but you are speaking very long. I do want okay. to make my point. Okay. Okay. So men are physically attracted to tenderness and warmth from a woman. Yes. A smiling woman is biologically more attractive to a man than a frowning woman. Now let me tell you why. Because men live particularly to please their wives Can and I... women. Now, hold on, let me finish. Okay. And so to us, it is attractive to see our wife or to see the woman that we love smiling. A man and I'm sure if you've been in a relationship for any period of time, right? How often do you get the, are you okay, sweetie? Are you happy? I've never been like in a relationship, upset. but. Okay, yeah. well, this happens a lot. It's yeah. often a point of conflict for my wife and I. When did I do, are you okay? Are you happy? Um, a man saying, hey, it's attractive for a woman to smile more is the equivalent to a woman saying it's attractive for a man to listen more. Okay, can I, I'm gonna respond to that. Okay. Um, yeah, I totally agree with what he just said. He's absolutely right. Um, if she acts like a B word, she she is a B word. I'm sorry. I'm like, that's how it goes. And don't show ladies now call yourself B words now. I'm a boss B. I'm a boss this, boss that. 
I I see white women, Mexican women, black women say all the time on Instagram or something like that. TikTok. I don't use TikTok, but I'll be seeing a lot of like little YouTube things. They say it. So. I mean, what do you really have to complain about? And she ain't never been to, she's like, she, she like, she like 30 years old, 20, 26 years old. You ain't never been in a relationship? Mm, okay. Sounds like a problem to me. The whole notion of like telling women to smile transcends relationships. It's even down the street. Uh, men come up to women and go, oh, hey, honey, hey, sweetheart, smile more, smile. And it's a very like condescending Thing. It's very patronizing. It's very much. If a stranger came up and said, "Hey, sugar baby, smile more," I'd be like, "Yeah, okay, that's kind of crappy." But I, I, that's no, no, I wouldn't be actual. offended. I wouldn't be offended, but I understand it's symptomatic of the culture of patronizing women, of uh, treating women differently than you would treat men in that way. We shouldn't. And that, if that makes sense. But uh, you just supported lowering the PT requirements in the military so women could join up because they're weaker. Is that patronizing or is that equality? Because I'm confused. That's equality. Okay. So saying women, you can't do as many push-ups or pull-ups, or you can't do the, the the 16 mile run. I don't know what the PT requirements are now. It may be different. Uh, you can't do it as well as men. So we're going to lower it so that you can join the military. Okay. Being, That's equality. Can I say something about the military smile more is again too? Um, for example, if you look at there's not just one general of the military, just how expansive the military is, there are several. Right. Do you see even one? And a general is not doing, they're older men. They're not doing physical, like, physically, like, strenuous workouts. It's mostly administrative. And they don't let women do even, like, the desk jobs. Yeah. If that makes That's sense. That's incorrect. Like, uh, do, you, do, you, are, do you have any military in your family? No. Okay. Well, I, I grew up in a military family. That's not correct at all. It's not a general's job is not at all administrative. I, frankly, I would say that's a bit do. of female privilege because you're kind of glib on that topic. It's an incredibly intellectually strenuous and emotionally I'm strenuous. I'm sure. I'm not saying in, they're, because they're you not have done to by any means. It's yeah. military science. I'm sure is complex. I'm sure they're very intelligent. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that's not a physical job as much as the guys in the lower. You can't tell me it's just as physical as the guy who are. You know, on the ground. No, running it's not in just Iraq. as physical. But men are uh, more suited to it, and that's why they tend to be generals. More. Why do? Why are men more suited to it? Well, there are two reasons. You just said that they're older men, and yes, I don't know if you they're know how. They're typically older. Yeah, yeah. I've seen them Do you know how long it takes to become Union. a general? Decades, probably. Yes, I don't know. exactly. So that would go back to men being in the military longer than women, certainly in those positions. And yeah, listen. But I'm this sure is, if there's this, like, if okay. there are military, right. like for example, the McCains are like military okay. royalty. Sure. I'm sure it'd be much easier for them to get that than like above off the street that may be so i think um, uh, but i do appreciate i think we have some other people that want to sit down oh okay so well, i do appreciate I loved it thank you very much <laughs> he ain't my listener anymore his, his, his life is actually beautiful um it's actually cute i mean uh, you know i don't talk about it a lot but i mean since he pointed it out she definitely is um there's a reason there's a reason why men are more cute more more um fitted for uh the uh, military is because they're stronger faster logical um take stress more take anxiety more stuff like that stronger intellect i guess not strong intellect like but they can control their emotions stuff like that I don't. I really don't know anything about person. Uh, military. I'm pretty sure some of y'all are from military, but y'all tell me what y'all what think about women be up in the military. Do y'all think it's wrong? Unless they're like um, nurses and like cooks or anything like that. Like that's different. But I mean, like in like combat. But I don't, I don't think women could go in combat, right? Y'all, y'all answer answer up in the answer up in the comments. But yeah, um, I don't know what to say. What else did he say? than you would treat men in that oh about the uh going up to the women and said uh you know can you smile for me like like why 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 is that so why is that condescending and why would we treat you as a man why would we treat you as a man when you're when you're a woman like you want to be treated as a man but we could definitely treat you as a man like dudes will go up to you and just roast you out of nowhere your own friends 
You know, so you, 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 uh, you little, you little B word, you know what I mean? Looking like Elmo and Big Bird mixed together or something like that. God damn, you pimple, you pimple, at, you pimple face looking motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, that's what friends do. That's what men do. You know what I mean? So they even box each other. We slap box, you know, you slap box when y'all meet each other. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they, I don't know what she wants. It's confusing. Um, I wouldn't. I hope women are not there. Well, there is women that think about that. If you if you just look online, you be like, God damn. But it's sad. It really is sad. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the video. Please hit that like button, subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 600 subscribe by end this month. So please share with your family, friends, whoever you see. Put it on social media. Shoot, share it. Click it. Put clip it up. Put it on social media. Just tell them to subscribe to the Fat Mass Podcast. And tell them I'm trying to hit a thousand by the end of this year. So, all right, y'all. I will see you guys on the next one. Osiris is off in the Fat Man's podcast, y'all.